Cool. So in this, I'm going to go over a few things to do if you're having some issues um, with the wireless network. A few things that are really important to determine first, is it just one wireless network, like you can't get on at home, or you know, can't get on at school, or is it everyone? If it's everyone, one good thing that you can do, uh, actually another resource I wanted to point out, if you just, like you're on a Mac, you just go to applesupportcommunities.com, and if you're able to do this on another computer, or smartphone, or a tablet, or whatever you have, um, lots of great resources there. Like for example, if I just click on notebooks, and we're just going to go with the MacBook. And so lots of little issues here, stuff has been resolved, but a lot of great resources there. Like you can just Google search it, lots of resources from like other people, other tools, just another thing you can do. Um, one thing I recommend doing is if you go, where did I put it, there it is, into system preferences and the network, and let's say it shows that you're connected. But let's say maybe you've got an exclamation on the Wi-Fi symbol in the upper right. Well, go ahead and go into System Preference of the Network. And the first thing I would do is turn Wi-Fi off. And once Wi-Fi is off, then go ahead and power cycle everything. Turn the router off if it's like your own personal. Turn the computer off. Then turn it all back on. Um, if, then if you still can't connect, go into Security. And once you're in security, you're going to choose to click on firewall. And we may be running a little bit slow because I'm processing a bunch of junk right now. Um, oops, that is what we wanted. As long it's really important to have that off. Sometimes that can't, like in rare cases, it's good to have it on. Otherwise, it can cause some issues, especially with connecting to wireless networks. Um, since right now we know mine isn't on, we can jump back into network. And you're going to want to make sure you pick out any other networks. See if you can connect a hotspot you've created from your, your Droid or your iPhone or whatever you have. Um, if you can, then you know it's not necessarily with the computer, it's with the router. Um, if you can't, then what I would do is to go ahead and click on the network, like your Wi-Fi, and then click the minus. I'm not going to do it here because I like having the Wi-Fi that's available. But once you've done it, just click the plus. And you're going to see a new window pop up, and you can create a new Wi-Fi, or a FireWire Ethernet, or whatever you may have that you're working with at the time. So then you just, you know, you can name it. You could go into Network, where we are right now, and then click on the Wi-Fi, if that's what you're working with, and then click Assist Me. And you can diagnose an issue or try and have it assist you with it. So let's say you're not able to call and get assistance, or you don't want to, or you just want to figure it out on your own, you want to feel accomplished. That's one way that you can go ahead and do it. Also, I really recommend clicking that check, like to show, have it show Wi-Fi status and this symbol in the menu bar. It's just another quick way to access your stuff. Um, if all that fails, um, I would go ahead and click on Finder. Uh, video. Okay. So as soon as this loads up, you're going to see that Finder is the thing I've selected. Then I'm going to click Go, and then go to Computer, and then you'll click on that. And where is it? References. There we go preferences and you're going to look for anything network related so what you're actually looking for there's um there we go so we've got our network folder and it's got these these two p list um actually just the p list right there that one you're going to want to move that to the desktop and see if that resolves the issue if not, and we know it's not, it could be something user specific. Uh, is there anything else in here? System configuration. Is that the one I was thinking of? Yeah. So you would also want to check out system configuration. 
I would pull the airport plist. This one, it's going to say com.apple.airport.preference.plist. Pull that one, and when I say pull, I mean put it in the trash. Because if you drag it to the desktop, it's just going to copy it there. You can drag it to the desktop and then delete it from here, so it'll have to rebuild a new one. Um, I pulled a com that. Yeah, and then this one, the apple.com.network.identification.plist. Uh, we don't need to mess with the power, remote, SMB, servers. Uh, the network interface plist, you can pull that as well. Um, and yeah, everything else is fine. Um, the issues continue beyond that by, by just pulling those off to the desktop and then deleting them from here so they rebuild. Um, then it may be a little more serious. Um, what else would you do beyond that? Yeah, beyond that, it's really going to be something where you want to make sure that you've got no, there's nothing else interfering, like no um, antivirus. By the way, most of, a lot of those are crap, like Norton, it's crap. <laughs> uh, McAfee's crap. Um, if you have them, go ahead and do yourself a, a favor and just trash them and tear up the box. Um, that being said, because those are going to cause Wi-Fi issues, like, not 100% all the time, but if you're having them, one of the first things I really advise you to look for is just to trash those apps. They're garbage. Um, then once you've removed those, anything beyond that, we, I would really recommend go ahead and using some of these support tools or doing a reinstall if necessary. Um, but there's a lot of stuff out there to help you if you ever did need it. Cool. Well, again, if you need any further assistance, always just um, chat me up. You know, put a, a comment that you want more videos or a specific topic or this and that. I'm more than happy to help out the best I can.